Hey YouTube, how about some coffee? Uh, I gotta say Paul Newman, uh, a lot of your products are good, but your uh, espresso uh, blend uh, coffee, um, it tastes a little like Folgers. But I appreciate all the good works you do. Um, uh, I think, what, do you, what, do you, what are your, uh, your camps? I think they're called hole-in-the-wall camps. Uh, camps for uh, children, troubled youths, and whatnot. So, so I purchase your products. <laughs> but really, that's, that's not why I'm talking to YouTube, to, to, to let Paul Newman know that uh, I support his business. I, I, more his business plan. Um, Nonprofit. Um, my, uh, actually my, what's in my head right now is, uh, oh, it's a bunch of different things, but why I address this to YouTube is, uh, because the bunch of the different things are in my head, uh, were put there by, uh, the people of YouTube, and I feel specifically for me, <laughs> you know, it's like, um, I was thinking about some things this morning, and I realized I wouldn't have been thinking about them if it wasn't for uh, Fairly and uh, Zombie Picture Show and H. Strung. Um, they're not like, I'm not unacquainted with the concepts, um, but especially when three people bring up concepts that I feel overlap, uh, I feel that I might not have come to that um, surprising, it's like a surprising dinner where there's three uh, meals there that you ordinarily wouldn't have combined. You know, you wouldn't normally see them combined if uh, as food unless they were on uh, Elvis's uh, dinner table. Um, all right, so I'll tell you. I'll tell you YouTube <laughs> where uh, where I'm going. Uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Mr. Week uh, called me smug, and, which I've heard a lot before, and there's a good reason for it, and it's partially. Uh, Mr. Week, it's secret knowledge. I have secret knowledge, and a lot of times that shows up in my smile, and maybe even in my eyes. Um, <laughs> and a Zombie uh, Picture Show said uh, that we are our memories, and uh, and I said um, we are we are how we react to our memories. Um, and I I wonder, like I think that. Like both are true. Um, the, the kind of thing like, you know, uh, this hammer doesn't drive nails very well, and someone else would say, well, it's a poor workman that blames his tools. Um, like, you could, I could see, like, what both people are talking about. Like, that hammer might not be, you know, that hammer might not be the best. It's past, might have damaged it or warped it, so uh, now it requires uh, a certain kind of care to get a decent nail driven. Um, and uh, H. Strung um, said that uh, the YouTube drinking community is a joke, and I said uh, life's a joke, which is where here's where the rest of the smug comes in, because um, I think back, because not only am I uh, my memories and how I react to them and how my memories form me, how how they, how my uh, past has uh, has damaged my own hammer or, or warped the handle or or made it stronger uh, in places. Um, and show me where I'm most efficient. Um, but um, how these memories affect me um, a lot of the times is I, I feel I have an underlying sense of humor about everything. Like it, the, the YouTube drinking community is a joke. It's a wonderful joke that I just want to like, if the joke was a comforter, I want to wrap it around my shoulders and uh, and have it uh, have it warm me on evenings when uh, um, I'm feeling a little chilly, if you know what I mean. Like it's awesome. It's an awesome joke, and uh, so is life, and so is uh, the uh, like the, the negativity. Uh, like uh, uh, Mr. Week uh, was, was giving me a taste of because I remember like he reminded me of uh, like kind of like that shotgun blast of like insults because you're never sure uh, how best to wound somebody um, if you you know you're that kind of person um, I remember I was uh, standing outside a bar once and there was like a group of guys out there there are four guys and one of them uh, asked me for a cigarette and I'm like sorry man I don't smoke and he says well then what good are you 
and kind of like stared at me to see if I was going to react to that. I'm like, oh, I don't have any reaction to that. Um, and then this woman walked out and uh, one of the guys said something to her. Uh, he tried to shame her for uh, her outfit. Um, you know, like it's like, like she was showing confidence with how she was, uh, how she was dressing. Um, um, she was dressed beautifully. She was showing a lot of skin and uh, you could just tell she was confident by the way she was walking. And uh, he said something shocking and foul. And you could kind of see her like taken aback. I mean, it was just, you could tell that she was happy and had an excellent night at the bar. And uh, this guy kind of capped it off with, with being insulting to her. We're getting to where uh, the last insulting person called me smug. Um, and I said, uh, hey man, that is absolutely no way for a man to talk to a woman. And, uh, and then he like, I can't, I can't quote him exactly. Um, but if you've ever seen a, a thuggy movie, like, you know, like some sort of like um, third string thug working for a, uh, a petty gangster, um, he started talking uh, uh, smack to me. And I was just kind of like watching him and like listening to him and stuff like that. And then at one point in time, he just kept going on and on. And his, and his buddies kind of formed up in a little, uh, little uh, uh, defensive uh, attack posture. Like they, they were kind of spread out and then they grouped up on him. So they could all face me, and uh, and actually there was a bunch of people outside smoking. Uh, this was right when uh, they they made no smoking in bars. And he starts talking some threatening stuff and trying to insult me about like the clothes I'm wearing and things like that. Um, you're just not sure, like just like uh, uh, Fairly Weeko, he wasn't sure exactly how to insult me, so he was just trying a bunch of different things. And then at one point in time, I just started smiling. And it just enraged him because like the whole time like he's probably feeling stressed and angry and wound up and like he's thinking like oh it's on man it's on and I'm like and suddenly like I'm like it's not on I'm I'm watching a comedy and he's like oh you think I'm funny you think I'm funny you know how they talk and I just started like I'm like I'm like will you listen to yourself I mean like and everyone else here is listening to you and like who hasn't seen this movie you know what I'm saying it's like like a bunch of like thuggy guys hanging out in front of a bar smoking cigarettes harassing people and harassing women and now like all the whole group of you is like you know is uh is facing the one man who decides to object you know what i'm saying it's like it's a terrible movie and of course i think it's funny and the guy's like like it really it was like i yanked the rug right out from underneath him and the whole thing is like I thought there was a chance he might attack me. I think I might might have been assaulted. Um, it was unpleasant and icky, but underlying all that, it was ridiculous. This poor, ignorant uh, jerk uh, standing outside of a bar, um, not knowing how to good ha have a good time, not knowing how to make life remarkable. Um, and the only way they could take out their frustration is by insulting men and women. Um, you know, like maybe he'd feel better if everyone else was as miserable as he was. Um, so eager to be, uh, to, to, you know, go to violence and, uh, and insults. And uh, I just thought it felt like a joke to me. It, it absolutely felt like a joke. The fight, if he would have fought me, the fight would have felt like a joke as well. Um, so, and like, in, I've, I have memories of, uh, of guys like this. I've, I've been uh, attacked by guys like this. I've been in a, a I've been, been in a lot of fights. Um, um, cause I'm the guy, I'm the guy that says, Hey man, how's that any way to talk to a woman? What kind of man are you? <laughs> you know, like I got that, I got that cowboy streak in me. Um, and, uh, so it's the, uh, what is it? It's like. The, the smug joke um, and how I'm how I am responding to my memories of my past rather than having my past form me because um, if I was if, if if my past if my past was me uh, then I would have attacked that guy because uh, I've been I've been in that situation before where it had gone violent um, but my past is uh, is just what I react to and so Despite it being similar, I mean, I can imagine like a zillion permutations. I can imagine the guy like, you know, it wouldn't it be nice if that guy would have said, uh, man, I'm just, I'm just drunk and my girlfriend broke up with me, so I'm feeling angry at women and 
uh, I don't know, maybe I want to start a fight just so I could like, you know, either beat somebody up or get beaten up so I could like, I just feel on the outside what I feel on the inside. You know, like some sort of really deep, self-aware, drunken football player jock, uh, uh, you know, whatever, kind of like suddenly like come into some sort of, I'm just drunk enough to like just say word. I'm going to speak honesty. And I'm like, hey, fair enough, man. Well, if I'm going to take that as an apology, and uh, as long as you, as long as you uh, treat the ladies like ladies, come in, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy you a beer. Except for, except for your thuggy friends. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it seems silly. And sometimes, uh, like when I'm talking to, uh, I'm talking to my camera, and uh, and like for, like when I'm talking about my retirement uh, ideas, um, I'm talking to myself like if YouTube's still around and I'm still able to access all these videos, I'm talking to uh, Earl ten years from now, and uh, and part of my smile is that because um, like I wonder like if you know my earnest little seventeen year old self's like I'm gonna be an astronaut. And I'm gonna have, <laughs> you know, like I don't know, like I, I I have like these ideas of how I'd like to form my future, but if my past is any indication, uh, um, oh. <clears throat> fighter jets. If my past is any indication, uh, my life's gonna be pretty much just wherever this river's flowing. I can't really know. I just like I try to decide how I want to paddle. Um, so I'm talking about my retirement ideas, which is, which is, I think is a good thing to do. Um, but 10 years from now, I might be watching those videos and just like laughing at myself. So, uh, and I'll be laughing at myself with a little smirky smile on my face because I'll be realizing like the whole idea that I'm going to try to talk about what's going to go on in my life 10 years from now. <sighs> oh, well, it's just like, it's, I mean, it's like, I don't know. I don't even know if I'll be around 10 years from now, you know, or uh, or what, or if like in two and a half years, uh, some sort of amaz amazing financial thing will happen to me, and uh, I'll be living on yachts, shooting skeet off the quarter deck. I'm not even sure where the quarter deck is. I'll have a guy that shows me where it's at. Damn right. <laughs> yeah. So smugness. Life's a joke, <laughs> though a good joke, and it's a joke that should be taken seriously. Um, and uh, H. Strung uh, masturbates horses. I, that's what he says. All right, YouTube. Thanks for having coffee with me.